Welcome back on this Wednesday morning here, 943 right now. So adults are facing a friendship recession, according to new data. Listen to this. The American Survey Center created the term after these numbers. Listen to this. 15% of men and 10% of women say they do not have close friends. To put that into perspective, 30 years ago, only 3% of men reported not having close friendships. We wanted some insight into what is causing people to disconnect and how to beat it if you, of course, want to expand your social circle. Joining us live, personal growth strategist Florence Ann Romano. Florence, it is so good to have you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. I'm so thrilled to be here, and I know what you're thinking. Don't say recession to me in any sort of way. I know, I know. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. So start off by telling us why more and more of us are lacking these close friendships. I mean, what, what's going on? Right. I think it all started during COVID when we all had to isolate. We all all of a sudden lost on a global level all of our people. We had no more support system. And then it was time to go back to normal. And all of a sudden we had to tiptoe out there and we realized, gosh, I don't know how to socialize anymore. And you know what? I don't think I want to socialize anymore. I think I want to be in my yoga pants and Netflix, and that's way more interesting. And all of a sudden, that human connection is gone, and yeah. you're not putting the effort in anymore. And that's what's led us to this recession, because the effort and the intention is no longer there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, th I think you nailed it right there. The effort, the intention, <laughs> not there anymore. So how right. do we right the ship, especially as we get older, into your 30s, 40s, 50s? We all have our established patterns and right. family habits. Right. How do we put this back in our lives again? In every stage of life, I feel we have the option to try to build that tribe, build that circle, but it's not as easy because you know, you're not a kid on the playground anymore yeah. that just walks up to someone and says, hey, you wanna play? You know, and you're not in school anymore and that ecosystem isn't there. So you really have to take time to consider what do I need? Uh, and so I developed six different villagers that you look at and think, okay, who am I of these six villagers? And also, of these six villagers exist in my village and who am I in their village? And as you start figuring out kind of how the chess pieces are in your life and who sits in what seat, you start to figure out also where the voids are. And maybe that's where you're gonna put the intention. Maybe when you look at yourself and you think, okay, one of my six cheerleaders is the healer. That's the person that's with you in life, that's gonna go through life with you, next to you, through it, helping you, not fixing you, not fixing the situation, but your North Star. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm missing mm -hmm. that person in my life. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start joining different nonprofits, maybe in my community, and I'm going to start doing some philanthropy because that's a way for me to give back, but also meet new people that are like-minded, share similar values. And you know what? Maybe I'm going to discover, discover that villager through that effort. Personal growth strategist Florence Ann Romano, this is great information. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I hope we all find our villagers, find our village, find our people. That's what keeps us going in life. That Those really connections. is. I mean, uh, like a happy hour or a, a night out with a girlfriend is just, oh, it feels so good. Thank you so much for being here. Fills you up. Thank you. This was great. Very joyful. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. So speak